Milo is taking a little dip in his pool. Is that better? It's very hot out here, isn't it? Our furniture's arrived. It makes such a difference having a fire pit, doesn't it? Oh gosh, it's so amazing. High five, we did such a good job. Hello my darlings, I hope you're all very, very well. So I'm gonna start this video off with a bit of a big announcement. So I am absolutely thrilled to tell you that I have officially joined the Look Fantastic brand ambassador team. As you guys know, I love Look Fantastic, especially their advent calendar, the Easter eggs, the monthly beauty subscription boxes. I am like the biggest Look Fantastic fan. And of course, you guys, can get something out of this as well because I have an exclusive 15% off discount code on selected goods at Look Fantastic. This is perfect because payday is literally just around the corner and you can just pick up a few things to treat yourself. Now as you can tell from the title of this video, we have a lot of work to do. So we are completely transforming our garden. So before I kick off with all that work, I'm gonna give myself a bit of a night pamper routine using some of the Look Fantastic products that I got from their website. So grab a cup of tea, my darlings, and enjoy the rest of this video. Here are all the wonderful products that I got from the Look Fantastic website for my payday treat. I'm gonna be using these products in particular for this little spa session. So I always like to start with the face and taking my Yves Lom cleanser, I'm gonna take my makeup right off. I love this cleanser, it's jam packed with chamomile and it's just ever so soothing on the skin and it just takes your makeup right off. Without fail, I always like to light some tea lights. It just gives a lovely relaxing atmosphere. It really does transform the room. Now I do have my neon candle here. This is beautiful. It smells just like lavender and it really relaxes the mind. It's my favorite recently. Now I'm also gonna use the Neon Bedtime Hero Bath Foam Bubble Bath. Now again, this has got calomel, lang lang and cedarwood and it just relaxes me, it makes me feel amazing amazing. Now this mask really, really surprised me. It's actually one of the best bubble face masks that I've ever, ever tried. It was super cleansing and very nourishing. For a touch of energy, I like to use this energizing shower gel. Now the scent of this one is very uplifting and it always leaves the skin feeling ever so soft. Now as you can see from this face mask, it's super bubbly. So I like to really cleanse it into the skin. For the skin, I shall be using the skin food lights. Now I love this one because it has calamar on it and also sunflower oil and it leaves the skin feeling very hydrated after. And then finally I shall be using Burt's Bees Lavender and Honey Lip Butter. This is super nourishing, it smells like lavender and it just relaxes me and I am all ready to transform this garden. Today you join me on a lovely Sunday afternoon, obviously in lockdown but today I am painting the deck. That is so much better so we had to do a second coat uh, for it to look the same as this one but this is before and this is after now the color we've used joe got this one natural oak, natural oak. and then he's mixed it with two of these so the decking was actually something that we had done last year because i think exactly a year ago but we uh we didn't really update anyone because it was just kind of this and we wanted to do like a big garden video i'm gonna pop in a before photo right now so this is what it looked like so actually a lot has already been done i absolutely just love this rope it kind of gives like that is it cabana phil joe yeah like cabana Whose idea was that? it was joey's idea very good idea but the pergola was my idea and so was the decking so i win Are you okay <laughs> oh dear Are you right yep. so we are going to put something else here later on but for the meantime we're just gonna put the lazy spa back is that water inside i can hear okay back in place let's fill her up 
day three of the garden renovations. Uh, we have almost done the decking. Well done, Joe. You've done all up there. This is like a, a last minute thing, but I ordered some paint online and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to paint Milo's house a different colour. Uh, I tried getting the um, same colour as our windows because I just thought it would look nice. And I did get a similar colour. I'll show you. The colour Willow. It's very similar. It's not exactly the same, but you know, it will do. First job is to get all of the cobwebs off of his pen. Admittedly, I've actually never done this before. <laughs> so there's a lot of cobwebs. You're getting a brand new house, mister. Yeah. New colour and all that. Moment of truth. Sometimes I find that some paint looks different in the shop than what it does in real life. Oh, that's perfect. Let me show you guys. It needs a good stir, but that is pretty much identical to our windows. Yay. Just giving it a little test. I love it. Milo, <laughs> I was just sleeping while well, mummy and daddy do all of the work. Meanwhile, whilst I'm painting Milo's pen, Joe is redoing the fence. Now he has a proper, what's this? Like a spray gun, spray gun and the color is really good. So I just wanted it to look um, like it was new basically. And this is in the shade, I think it's natural oak and I'll show you the tin. It's a Ron Seal one. Do you want to demo it in action? I, I've actually not seen this. Take it away, Joey. <laughs> Milo's house is now all done. It looks so much better. It actually looks better in like real life, but I am so chuffed with it. And also, Joe has also done the fencing. So the color of this, I just wanted like a little refresh, like it's brand new. And this is the color of the fence when it was new. So Joe did two sides of the fence by the time I managed to paint Milo's house. <laughs> So the house actually took longer. My next job is to paint this the same colour as Milo's house. This usually gets hung here and I like to put like little potted plants. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. I don't know whether I should just paint the pots as well so they're all like sage green. I might do that. Milo is taking a little dip in his pool. Is that better? It's very hot out here, isn't it? Is he going to do that motion thing yet? Yeah. He does this when he cleans his bar. Oh no, he's not doing it. I'm gonna go for it again. Go on then. I think you need a bigger mm. pool, babe. Well, it's about three o'clock, so the sun is really, really strong. I am sun but so bad. Anyway, um, I do have some flowers. I brought these back and Joe was like, you're gonna kill them, but you know, that's something I usually do, but I just thought it'd be really nice to pop them into these little pots. The flowers I got are called Dianthus Pink Kisses and they're really good for the sun, apparently. The last lot I got, I killed them because they weren't meant to be in the sun, like direct sun all the time. Um, and the other ones I got were Dianthus, but they're just like pinky ones and these are purple i don't know why they've called these pink because they're purple anyway so what i like to do is actually just keep them in their little pots and then just pop them in just saves like getting the compost out and having to like put the compost in keep it easy okay so i have them all potted up they look so so pretty like really nice colors and i'm basically just gonna hang them on the crate here 
Joey has been working so hard at putting the ivy up on the pergola. This is something we did last year, but it all blew off by the winter. So, and, I didn't staple it very and you well. didn't staple it very well. So to put these on, these are just from Amazon, by the way. I'll link everything down in the description. So you just literally staple it, and it doesn't like make any damage or anything. But it's like a really nice feature something really exciting has just arrived um so i totally just bought a um a fake blossom tree i really love blossom trees we have nowhere to grow one so i got a fake one this is so this is something that i've really this is your centerpiece. this is my centerpiece this is something that i've really wanted in the garden i just want to take photos with it i just think it's gonna look amazing so we're gonna we're gonna put it together There is my tree. It took a minute to put together. It looks gorgeous. Sorry guys, my battery died, but this is the update. So we've put the blossom tree in the corner and Joe is hanging up the fairy lights. Um, this was an absolute mare, but we managed to sort it out in the end. How long you've done this for? Good hour or two, yeah. hour and a half, yeah. But it's starting to take shape. It looks beautiful. Our furniture's arrived. There is a lot of boxes. Good morning, guys. I'm coming at you. Oh, looking extremely pale. What's going on with this uh, lens? It's probably my skin. I have literally hardly any makeup on, but our brand new sofa for the outside has come while the dining set and the fire pit and everything. Let me just spin you around. Joe is just bring everything in from the driveway because the driver came very, very early this morning. Oh. It's all coming together. I really do not get the weather right now. It was absolutely boiling yesterday and today it's absolutely freezing. Like how does, how can that happen? It's really, really cold out here. Almost feels like an autumn's morning. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I have been wanting a sofa and like an eatery, a dining table like this outside for, for a very long time. Joe and, I, Joe and I fell in love with um, fire pits out in South Africa, so that kind of like takes us back um, for us. How much more? Oh my gosh. Do you need a hand? No, I'm good. You okay? Yep. Good job I have a big, strong man in this household because um, I, would, I would struggle. Found this box which is um oh it's stones that's nice so basically this is a fire pit but it also acts as a grill so you can grill like i don't know skewers on there whatever you want i probably wouldn't cook meat on there would you cook meat on there oh, yeah. yeah you can cook meat okay we're gonna cook meat on there um oh my god it's oh let me just show you quickly we've decided to put the tree there because when you come into the garden and you when you sit down you can really see it oh anyway i'm gonna come back when this is all done look how incredible this table looks i am so chuffed are you chuffed with it joe honestly it, it just looks absolutely incredible in this space now i'm going to do the full tour later on today but i just thought i'd uh, show you the uh, the table have you eyed up the sofa yet final last two pieces of furniture for the new garden are some sun lounges are they easy to put together good fiddly i'll get there you're pretty good at stuff like this, so I have faith. I'm gonna come back when they're done. One deck chair complete. Why does it feel really narrow? Is it? I don't know, I'm just, is it meant to feel like that? It's quite narrow. That's okay, we're not, we'll be fine. Comfy though, very comfy.
welcome to the official tour. So here we go. So this is the eating area. I just love this space. It has transformed into kind of like a dining room for us. So this is by a brand called Housing Units. The customer service was amazing. And um, we are gonna get a replacement for the glass because it didn't fit together. I think they gave us the wrong size, but this is like a barbecue grill and it's a fire pit. So you can cook food, remove it, and then just have the flame. But I'll show you that later because I'm gonna show you when everything is like on and all the lights are on and everything. So the cushions are from Amazon. So we have the pink and we got the sage green. I did want the pink to be a bit more pastel, but it's very, very hard to find outdoor cushions online at the moment. So they're either too expensive or they just don't do them. But anyway, I'm very happy with these. Some of you may already know about the TV. So Joe and I love this TV. We have put this on our Instagram a few times, but it's ever so relaxing. We either watch movies at night or we play music during the day. Having an outdoor TV is a game changer. What do you do with it when it rains? We actually do have a proper rain cover for it, but we are actually gonna get like a, like a plastic thing so we don't have to like worry about it, but it does have a cover for it. Now these lights came out so well. I love the ivy as well, but we're gonna see this more in detail later at night. Now this is from Tesco. Oh, and just to add, the ivy is from Amazon. They've just been stapled to the pergola and all the lighting is from Amazon as well. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. I absolutely love it guys. Beautiful. So I'm just going to pan around to the other side. So we completely did all the fences as you saw. Um, I also did paint these wheels from B&M the green colour. Now I'm just going to move on to this little beauty just here. It's so adorable. You can totally do this with your kids. You can plant some seeds and watch them grow. Um, but I just think this makes the fence look less boring. And we also put down white stones. The white just makes everything look extra, extra fresh. Milo's house has had quite the transformation. So this is Milo's planter. He likes to, um, as you can see, he's already made marks in my freshly painted planter, but he likes to um, grind his tusks on it. So this is his, and we put all the stuff in there. But look at his new palace, everyone. He's just asleep by his little pool. I think the green looks amazing. I love his little sign here. And then just here we have my tree. Now this is also from Amazon and it just is stunning. It's gorgeous. Now we do have something new coming here very, very shortly. So the lazy spa is going and something else is going there but oh my God, the tree just looks beautiful. And then just coming round here, I again painted the wheel green. Oh, it's beautiful, I love it. And this is what it looks like from the other side. And then finally we did get some sun loungers. So this is from a local garden center called Leeks. Um, very, very, very comfortable. Um, so we just wanted a couple for us to sun ourselves in this glorious weather right now. And this is the final result. A massive difference. I am so in love. Two hours later. At night, it looks completely different. We are so proud of it, aren't we? Yeah, so nice. we're gonna spin you around to show you what it looks like at night. How gorgeous and cozy does this look? So we have the TV on, we currently just have some relaxing tunes on. It makes such a difference having a fire pit, doesn't it? It's very nice. So nice, cannot wait to toast some marshmallows on there. Oh, this is lovely, Joe. High five, we did such a good job, dream team. And this is what it looks like from the other side of the garden. So some of you may be thinking, why have you left this bit like there it's just because we're gonna actually get like a what we're we gonna do like a pulley screen so that it gives some shade if we want some shade so that's why we've kept that open but oh gosh it's so amazing there we go guys i really hope you enjoyed this massive transformation i absolutely love it i'm so so happy with it uh, like i said in the video i've left all the links down in the description to everything 
in this video. Also don't forget to go and check out Look Fantastic. I do have an exclusive El Toria 15% off discount code. Please go check it out, you can save a lot of money. Oh, and if you've reached the end of this video, write garden in the comments. But as always guys, make sure that you link, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!